Alright guys, so if you saw yesterday's video, you know that the EG hatch still does not move. Now, after doing some research, we figured out that the clutch isn't disengaging. So, the best bet is we need a clutch. I'm about to head to a shop called 1-6 Motorsports. They do a lot of Honda stuff. I called him up and I asked him, you know, I said, do you have a clutch kit and a flywheel for this car with this motor in it? He says, yeah, we got a lot of stuff in stock. Come by the shop and we can give you a decent setup. So right now, I'm going to go head to their shop, pick up a clutch. Austin took off work tomorrow. So hopefully, this thing should be running and driving. We have to pull the trans, put a new clutch in, put it back in. It's going to be a challenge, but we're going to attempt it. Well, $580 later, we got the clutch. Everything isn't in stock, so I just told him, you know, I'll pay now, and then I'll come back when all the stuff comes in, which should be either later today or tomorrow. Now, we got a stage two Xceti clutch with a lightweight flywheel, and it's a six buck. So it's gonna be super heavy, which is really unnecessary for the power level that we're running. It's literally stock, probably doesn't make over 110 horsepower. $580, man, that's that's like, that's like half the price of that car. Right now, I gotta get some gas, gonna go home and work on taking apart the car so we can pull the trans. So currently I'm taking apart everything that's necessary to pull this transmission out. I got the suspension out, I got the axle out. Austin has gotten here, some more work has been done. Slave cylinder has been, I've definitely done most of the work. Taking all that, that was a reaction. all that stuff has been taken out, buddy. <laughs> all you've done is taken out a starter and a slave cylinder. And maybe a sensor. And both axles in the intermediate shaft. I did, <laughs> I did, uh, I, I did a few bolts and the suspension. So piss off, all right? Trans fluid is drained, starter's taken out, slave cylinder's taken out, axles are taken out, intermediate shaft is taken out. Intermediate shaft looks pretty, pretty good. Now, we just, what do we, what do we have to do now? I gotta take out the rear trans mount and then the passenger side trans mount. So basically, ah. we have to take out the mounts and then we can take apart the bolts that um, bolt the transmission. Shut up, all right? Let me let me handle this project, okay? So we have to take apart some more things, and this thing will be out. Rod is actually coming later. I know all of you guys hate him, so you can go roast him in the comments. Really, dude? This isn't a racetrack. It is. No, it's not. This is my neighborhood. Okay. You're such a queef. You did the same thing when you used to come to my house, you fuck. My car's just hey, natural. My car's Hi, just. Hi, Austin. Hi. Hi. How are you? Hi. Shut, hey. hey, shut up and get to wait, work. Wait, 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 wait. We gotta show the viewers the point. All right. The what? So, so remember the the, the Ugga Dugga? Yeah. All right. Well, well, he has a little brother now. Oh. What the fuck is this? It's. Ugga right? Dugga Jr. Yeah. Whoa! Oh. Okay, well, let's go. Let's get this done. God, look at this. Guys, if you've been here since ah. the beginning, you will know ah. how much more effort ah. this took to take out the transmission ah. from the neon. If you guys haven't seen that video, please go check that out in the corner. Ah. We struggled so hard with that. Ah. Austin, on a scale of one to ah. two, how bad was it to take out the neon's trans? Man, that was probably at least an eight, to be honest with you. 
This honestly, this was like a I'm buying a Honda now. <laughs> this was so easy. Th this is awesome. There was four bolts holding this, five bolts holding Holy this whole dude, transmission. This thing's in. so light. I think it's 80, about 80 pounds. Maybe 100 oh. pounds. And like, look at how skinny it is. Like, dude, this well, was doesn't so have a disc. easy. That's why. Yeah. Wow. If it had a limited. This split. literally took maybe a total of what? Uh, th maybe three hours combined. Not even. Not even. It's been about two. Okay. And you guys ate. And we ate in the middle of it. Well, and we kind of goofed off a lot. Because if you guys remember the shitty Turbo no Mazda one Three. Because no one watches your videos. Oh, except buddy. the ones about the Turbo Mazda 3. Those are That's what I'm trying to talk wrong. about. Everyone watches the Neon videos. Yes. Yeah. Everyone loves the Neon videos, obviously. And the EG videos are doing good. But anyways, wrong. when we're at Rod's house, we literally just sit there while he works. Because we say we're going to come help him. But we really just sit there and start fires. And now Rod, did, yeah, we start <laughs> fires with brake cleaner. <laughs> So today Rod just came here and sat around and did nothing while me and what? Matt did everything. I just risked my life for this train. <laughs> it was on my face. Yeah, it so was right now, let's take a look and see what is actually broken. Well, first we gotta take out the clutch. Yeah, Jesus. we gotta take out the clutch. Dude, you know what? What if it just like rusted shut, like seized shut? It could be. Like look how rusty it is. Yeah. Alright, well Matt, Rod, I'm gonna have you turn the flywheel while I use the other dugger to take out the flywheel bolts. Today and when we install this clutch, we are going to make sure we torque our flywheel bolts down. I'm here Hashtag to make, I'm here to make sure. <laughs> no, we don't want you to make sure because you didn't do it last time on your car. That's why it blew up. So right now, Rod is taking out the flywheel bolts. The last flywheel bolt. Okay. Oh, oh, oh wow! <laughs> must that must have been heavier than trans. <laughs> What'd you just do? Only the real OGs will get the reference. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the clutch and as you can tell it's completely chooched it's basically like a brake pad it's just gonna keep wearing down and wearing down and there's no meat left on it so this is probably one of the reasons why it failed these springs are not supposed to move so freely Austin shake it real quick it's like one of those instruments I forgot what they're called shake weight no the ones that the Mexican people use sorry Mexican. oh the what are those called? The shakers? No, the no, the maracas? No, yeah. No, no, maracas, the big. Uh, wait, the, wait. Oh, oh, tambourines! Yes, it's tambourine. <laughs> That's what it is. Oh. So this thing was pretty done broke. So basically, uh, I'm gonna end this video today, and then I'm gonna make a part two of putting everything back together. And like Austin said, our goal for tomorrow is to get this car on the road. And Austin was actually right about one of his goals because we got the transmission out. It was super easy. Man, so, I didn't think we were gonna get it done today. I, said, I was I was, I was skeptical because when we tried to pull Rod's motor for the first time, everything went wrong. Wrong. <laughs> but it's also a newer car, so there's a lot of there's a lot more features in there. You know, he had the AC, bigger radiator, a whole front clip to take out. <laughs> we're gonna come here, <laughs> install it. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Wait, you'll get your turn. I'm being oppressed. Okay. You cannot silence me. So basically tomorrow's video, we're gonna go pick up the clutch, we're gonna put this thing in, and it's gonna run and drive. So thank you guys so much for watching this video today, guys. I really appreciate it. Shout out to Rod for coming to help us out and best this trans out. I'll see you tomorrow. See you later. So. An update. It doesn't look broken. What? It doesn't look broken. Okay, good. Yeah, that's a good thing. Are you done? Okay. So. God, this is so unorganized. But we're still more organized than Rod. Better than me. We're, we're definitely better than you. 100%. Because we only have a few bolts on, on the windshield. And you had about a few hundred. Yeah. <laughs> so here is the clutch. Let me show them. Okay, the you got a good lighting. So here's the clutch. Austin awesome gets to use a camera. Clutch. Austin awesome gets to use a camera. Now, okay. this piece right here, which you, there Austin, it is. Austin, restart this, because Rod was talking. Okay. So? Who cares, you Shut crazy? Up, please! Oh, I'm sorry. No! <laughs> right. Why is this leaking coolant? It's still leaking coolant. I hear it. Where? Because you keep messing with the radiator cap. Just stop. All right, just show them the clutch. You're grounded. This gives me bloopers. Hold on. Oh my god. This is cancer. Show them the clutch. <laughs>
<laughs> okay, so here's the clutch. It's like water wetter. Oh my god, shut <laughs> up. Shut up. Alright, you know what, dude? See, this is what I'm talking about. This is literally what I'm talking about. What? He's not recording right now. Yes, he is. Well, you can edit you, this whole time. You can edit it out. He's you know, done. He's on talking. He's on talking. Wait, you just gotta highlight the whole section after Austin's done doing whatever and just hit delete. No, I don't. But it is pretty light. This feels like thumbnail 101. All right, up one. All right. What do I do? You think that light's in a good position, or? Yeah, it's fine. Thumb one. Guys, low. Low chest. Rip, rip cage. Yeah, it's okay. Are you dying? Slowly losing air. How's that? I mean, because I'm seeing this right here. But what What do you want me to do? Just pretend to be dead. No, just like take, take your hood off and just pretend you're trying to get it off. <laughs> All right. And then I'll be. Matt's gotta be behind Robert right, right over here. here. And I gotta be trying to get it off of him. Alright. Alright. <laughs> Is that good? Yeah. Alright. Ugh. Oh.